All right, guys. I got a few Ace Paces here and there from the Cedar Creek Christian Bookstore in Knoxville, Tennessee. So this is grade five. I'm going to be showing you a flip through of the science, the social studies, which is basically like history and geography and social studies, and then creative and no literature and creative writing. Okay. So I paid six bucks for this little section here. Looks like four, and, uh, three. Okay, so I'll do like one at a time. So here's sorry, I've got like my phone. I'm on I'm on a trip in Tennessee. So okay, this is light unit 1053. So they're $2.70 each on christianbook.com. Looks like here I have two ace paces and two score keys. Let me try to try to split this in half here where I do. Half that there, half that here. And then I can keep this level. Okay, there we go. So I may not do like all the flip throughs, but just enough to give you an idea. Okay, so this is like Christian. It's like very moral scripture based. Like they teach kids all about, you know, good behavior. So my goal is to learn about oceanography, the ocean floor, oceanographers and their tools. Da, 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 da. Okay. You can just pause if you need to see anything specifically. And I'm trying to hold the cameras small or as best as I can. I wish I had like a tripod, but I don't. But you can still see if this is going to be a good fit for you. So this is a three-week workbook, I believe. And... From from what we've gathered, it, it's really great. You just basically have a lesson like that you read and then you have little questions at the end. And there's a test in the middle and the student takes the test at the end of their three weeks. And then you have the little score key. So that's basically the answers. There's no teacher's guides. There's no expensive book for this and expensive book for that. And all this junk that has to be carried with you everywhere you go. It's just three hole punch it. Throw it in a binder. You can take it in the car with you. You can take it on road trips. You don't have to bring a bunch of stuff. And Nora, whenever she was just doing this just by itself. Um, she can go through an ace pace in no time. And this is the test. Okay, so I won't go through like, I'm not going to go through every one, but just enough to kind of give you an idea of like, okay, that looks like it'll work or mm, no, it won't. Okay, I'll just show you like the inside of this one. Just like a couple pages. Okay, so kind of get an idea there if it's, you know, a good fit. And then here's what the ace pace looks like, the score key. Okay, so that is the science. Actually, that right there is social studies. There's the social studies, and then like there's a test key in the middle. This is 
Some people really like Ace Paces and some people don't. There are some strong opinions out there. Some people feel like the older grades are like, where did they get this information? And I don't know, because I've never done the older grades. I, I've, I've found what we have purchased to be like very easy learning, interesting, good ways of teaching things. I've, I've found it to be really great. Um, and I feel like they don't make things boring. But if you want like just history, you, you know, this is not, this is not going to be like your normal history. Like you're going to see some stuff, but like you should go for like BJU Press or something totally different, like Master Books or maybe a Becca or something different. Because this, some of their stuff talks about like the Bible, which is great. And then some of it talks about totally different things where you might be like, I'm ready for my kid to learn American history, you know? So you, you kind of really have to look through their light units or ace paces, I mean, to see if it's going to have the content that you want your child to learn that year. But I mean, for the price point, these are really cheap. And, you know, the information is very interesting, but I, like I said, I haven't done it all, so I can't speak for it. You know what I mean? As far as long term and upper grades but you kind of get an idea here like if this is something that you think is interesting i'll just show you like a little bit more on this one Let's see bible stuff which is great like i'm okay with that but i'm just letting you know like if you go to like bju press it's going to be like straight history from like <laughs> the very beginning and bju press is a very christian as well, but it's, 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 um, it's just different. Oh, we got some writing here. I'm buying it. Oh, well, it's okay. Part of the reason I bought this was just to see. That's the test. But part of the reason I bought this was just to see, like, do we like it? Do we like the style? I can do a flip through for you guys. I've got something my kids can do just to, you know, stay busy. Um, and then if we like it, we can just buy the extra light units and fill in the blanks. Or not light units, A spaces, I keep saying that. So this is literature and creative writing. Also, I think in some of the grades, you have to buy books to go with it. I had bought Nora, I think this for third grade or something, or fourth grade, I don't know. And then I was like, wait, there's books you're supposed to buy? <laughs> I just had like no idea. But I do like how this curriculum is just so easy, so affordable. Now it is a consumable. So if you don't like that it's used in trash, then, you know, figure out another solution because, you know, there's other curriculums that are like textbook and they're, um, you know, they're, they're going to be something you can reuse for each kid. I'll just show you like another one here. I normally would do like an entire flip through, but I'm not at home and I'm not sitting down all comfortably and I don't have this on a tripod, so I don't want to, I don't want to just have this like shaky video. So anyways, I might do a more in depth later, but this is it for now. See you guys. Bye.